You know, Lane Kiffin, the former coach of the Oakland Raiders, who when he was hired was the youngest head coach ever hired in the history of the National Football League, and I believe still is, that was in 2007, can't leave Al Davis, the owner of the Oakland Raiders, or formerly called manager of the general partner, alone. For those of you who don't know, Mr. Davis fired Lane Kiffin for a set of reasons that basically add up to insubordination in 2008. And in fact, it was about mid-year 2008 in, in that area, just before uh, the season 2008 started that Al Davis came out with the now famous projector presentation somewhere in there. But that's what Lane Kiffin is referring to. In an interview with ESPN, he talks about how Mr. Davis basically was holding everyone back, reviewing tapes from practice at 2 o'clock, whereas the league was making decisions at 6 o'clock in the morning. That was then. This is now 2011. He then went on to say that Mr. Davis using the overhead projector to point at issues that he had written about to Lane Kiffin in a letter was an example of the problems of the organization or words to that effect or implying that the Raiders were behind the times technologically and procedurally. But the bottom line is, details aside, why go there? When he was approached by ESPN, when he was asked the questions about the Raiders, he could have simply said, you know, that was in the past, I'm with USC now, let's move forward. But no, Lane had to go back and basically kick sand in the face of Mr. Davis, who is now 84 years old, or thereabouts. Why? It makes people... I don't know Lane Kiffin. I don't personally know Lane. And hopefully he's a nice person. I admire what his father, Monty Kiffin, has done with defense, particularly when he was defensive coordinator with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers under Tony Dungy. But I think because of that, Lane needs to show more respect for people that he has worked with and are, are, are around than he has done so, at least that ha which has been recorded by the media. Again, I don't know Lane. What I like about Lane is that he feels that scheme or football plays and systems are vitally important. In fact, perhaps the most important aspect in how a team approaches an opponent. I completely 1,000% agree. And on that note, Kiffin did not do well with handling Jamarcus Russell. Now, did he? That's another video blog for another time. But... I'm going to close the Lane Kiffin part of my video by saying, Lane, I really think that you should, and you're not going to do this, but I think you should say, hey, you know what? I shouldn't have went that far. I wish the Raiders well. That was in the past, and perhaps their future will be much better and brighter. Now, Terrell Pryor is in practice with the Raiders. He's shown all the signs of a person who needs work. Give him a chance. The people who are his detractors use his fumbling of the snap and other little errors to say, oh, see, he's got a problem. He's not going to do well. Again, I'm going to reiterate my point. Within three years, Terrell Pryor will be the starting quarterback for the Oakland Raiders. Again, three years. Three years. Mark that. So, with that, that's my video blog for right now. Oh, and Lane Kiffin seems to have more concern for Stanford as an opponent because Stanford has Andrew Luck he didn't mention Cal. Come on, Bears. Clobber USC. Go Bears. Let's get them.